Welcome back to our series of training videos devoted to the backup and recovery of G Suite. This video focuses on the backup and recovery operations of users' Gmail mailboxes, calendars, and contacts. So let's get started. As you remember, Acronis Backup Cloud is natively integrated with G Suite by means of the Acronis Backup Service application available in the G Suite Marketplace for your convenience. This integration allows you to perform full backups of users' Gmail mailboxes. Moreover, it allows conducting full and granular recovery of individual Gmail messages, calendars, and contacts. First, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to perform the full backup of Gmail mailboxes, including calendars and contacts for individual users. Then we will demonstrate for you how to conduct the recovery operation of Gmail messages, calendar events, and contacts, across users and Google organizations. We assume that your company has two Google organizations and you've registered both organizations in the Backup Console. As the next step, you'll need to create a backup plan for one of the existing G Suite users. Thus, log into the Backup Console as the company administrator and navigate to Users and then All Users. Select a desired user in the list and press the Backup button in the right pop-up panel. In the drop-down list, what to back up, select Gmail. Specify a name for the new backup plan. It should be noted that by default, a full Gmail backup plan includes all the Gmail messages, contacts, and individual calendars of the corresponding user. As an option, you can allow backing up also the calendar shared by other users by switching the corresponding toggle. By default, the Acronis Backup Cloud will store your backups in the highly secure Acronis Cloud. Please notice that the Gmail backup is a resource-consuming operation. Therefore, by default, the Acronis Backup Cloud performs automatic backups once a day to reduce that server load. You can specify the backup retention policy, that is, how long to keep the backups on the server side. You can clean up the old backups by age or number of backups. Alternatively, you can keep all the backups indefinitely. You can enable encryption and protect your backup with a sophisticated password. Finally, you can set up the full text search option for the new backup plan. By default, it is enabled and allows you to search the backup email messages by their content. In order to disable it, click on the gear icon next to the backup plan name. Navigate to the section Full Text Search and switch the corresponding toggle. Press the Apply button to finalize the process of backup plan creation. As you can see, for the selected user, the backup status has changed from Not Protected to Backup Scheduled. Press the Run Now button to initiate the backup process manually. Along with the individual backup plans, you can create a group backup plan for all users belonging to the current Google organization. In order to create a group backup plan, navigate to All Users, and in the right pop-up panel, press the Group Backup button. In the drop-down list, what to back up, select Gmail. The process of creating a group backup plan is similar to the individual backup plan. As soon as the group backup plan is created, it is scheduled to run automatically. Well, let's have a look at the recovery operations now. In order to perform the Gmail recovery for a specific user, navigate to All Users and select the desired user in the list. 
press the recovery button in the right pop-up panel. You can see all the available backups stored in the Acronis Data Center for the selected user. You can filter those backups by content, that is, Gmail or Google Drive. Select Gmail. For each backup, you can perform two types of recovery operations. Full recovery of the entire Gmail mailbox, including all the messages, contacts, and calendars, and granular recovery of specific entities. Let's perform the full Gmail recovery. Thus, press the Recovery button and select Entire Mailbox. First, you can recover the selected Gmail mailbox, including calendars and contacts, to the same user. Second, you can perform cross-user recovery, that is, a recovery to a different user within the same Google organization. Finally, if you have several Google organizations within your company, you can recover the selected Gmail box to another user from a different Google organization. Press the Start Recovery button to initiate the recovery process. You can allow overwriting the content in the recovery destination if needed. The recovery progress can be traced in the right pop-up panel or under Activities. Let's have a look at the granular recovery of a Gmail mailbox now. Along with the full recovery, you can perform granular recovery of individual Gmail messages from specific folders such as inbox, outbox, and deleted items. Moreover, you can recover calendars and contacts. For each Gmail entity, be it a message or a calendar event, you can preview its content and download its attachments. The process of granular mailbox recovery is similar to a full recovery. In order to initiate the granular recovery process, press the recovery button and select email messages. You can perform the granular recovery of the selected email messages to the same user and the same or a custom location. Moreover, you can perform a cross-user or cross-organizational recovery. Press the Start Recovery button to initiate the recovery process. You can allow overwriting the existing content in the recovery destination if needed. The recovery progress can be traced in the right pop-up panel or under Activities.
Finally, let's have a look at the search capabilities available within the Acronis Backup Cloud. First, you can perform a generic wildcard search for a desired user. Second, for each user, you can perform a metadata-based search in the archive for a specific message, calendar event, or contact. In particular, you can search by sender, recipient, subject, attachment name, and date. Moreover, you can search for keywords or phrases appearing in the message body. Finally, you can filter email messages containing attachments. That's it with Gmail Backup and Recovery Operations. See you in the next video.